Hey teachers and parents, and welcome to Math Unlocked, where I get to offer you math strategies for grades three, four, and five. My name is Miss McCarthy, and I'm the creator of McCarthyMathAcademy.com. I'm on a mission to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for you. That way you can get out there and support the students that you work with. In today's episode, I'm going to break down a fifth grade skill for you that involves composing numbers with decimals. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, y'all, here we go with composing numbers with decimals. Hopefully you've watched the episode that I released earlier that is decomposing numbers with decimals. If you do, that will make a little bit more sense on what we're doing here. I think out of the two, composing and decomposing numbers with decimals, that this skill right here is actually a little bit more simple. Okay, let's go ahead and get to it. So I'm seeing 21 ones plus 33 hundredths plus five thousandths. So here we have a number that's been decomposed and we need to compose it back into standard form. So the goal is to get this decomposition back into standard form. Here's how I would suggest doing it. So first we have 21 ones. That means if we have the ones place right here, we need a one to land in the ones place which means that two for 21, that two needs to be over here in the tens place. That would give us 21 ones. Since I know that I'm seeing hundredths and I'm seeing thousandths, I know that there's gonna be some decimals there, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put my decimal right there. We need to add 33 hundredths, okay? 33 hundredths. Well, what I'm gonna do is actually stack these values on top of each other and then add them together just to make sure. So 33 hundredths, that means here's the tenths hundredths place. This digit three right there needs to land in that hundredths place, which means the other digit three goes in the tenths place to make it 33 hundredths. Cool, because I now have digits in the tenths and the hundredths place, let me throw some zeros up here with that 21 ones, just so I'm keeping in mind that I'm lining up those values. All right, we got this one. Now we have five thousandths. All right, so five thousandths, decimal, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. The digit five will go right there in the thousandths place. That means all the other values before will be zeros. I could even do that up here if I wanted to. There we go. And that means I can also throw some zeros right on the back of there. So now all I need to do is add those values together. So we have zero thousandths plus zero thousandths plus five thousandths. When we add up the hundredths column, we get three hundredths. When we add up the tenths column, we have three tenths. Don't forget your decimal point. We have one whole number in the ones place and then two tenths. So to read this would be 21 and 335 thousandths and this is written in standard form, which composes that number back together. Now, something you wanna be careful of is that some students might say, oh, I can just go ahead and say, okay, 21 ones and 33 hundredths and five thousandths, there we go, that works for this one, but sometimes it makes sense to stack it up because you might be regrouping a little bit. For instance, if this said 15 thousandths, that's gonna throw you off a little bit. So that would mean that we would have to change this to a one, and then we would be regrouping a little bit there. That's not the case for this problem, but just something to keep tabs on, all right? Stacking them and adding them together, it might seem like a little much, but that's a good habit to get into for composing numbers. All right, y'all, so that's how you compose numbers with decimals. I hope that this episode made sense today. And if you're looking for more support with tons of math skills in fifth grade, stay tuned because I'm gonna walk you through some next steps that you can take. I hope you found this episode to be helpful. If you did, please let me know by hitting the like button. And if you wanna see more, consider subscribing to the channel. 
It's an easy way to support the content that I bring to you for free on YouTube. If you're a teacher or a parent, especially in Florida, you'll definitely want to check out McCarthyMathAcademy.com. Here is where I offer fast math freebies, including a playlist of fast math style problems and video lessons to support your teaching. For those ready to dive deeper, check out Taken on the Best, a monthly membership packed with video lessons, student guides, extra practice, error analysis videos, math tasks, mini assessments, and much more, which are all strategically aligned to Florida's best standards. With three levels, bronze, silver, and gold, you can choose the support that best fits your needs to promote student growth and skill mastery. Would you like to take taking on the best for a test drive? You can sample one standard per grade to find the right plan for you. Do that by simply requesting a free trial. And if you're gearing up for the final fast math assessment of the school year, Definitely check out Taking on the Fast, a 15-day countdown series with video lessons and fast-style math problems. Start with a sneak peek of day one, and when you're ready, you can make a one-time purchase. And if you're thinking about the gold plan for Taking on the Best, good news, Taking on the Fast is included in your membership. While many of my followers are in Florida, I know that there are teachers and parents everywhere looking for support. That's why I created McCarthy Math 155 with 155 video lessons for each grade level, third, fourth, and fifth. You can also sign up for a free trial to McCarthy Math 155 to explore it before signing up for a monthly membership. And finally, if you've enjoyed my math music videos on YouTube, you can also jam out to ad-free versions on my website. You can find all the links below and please feel free to email me with any questions that you have. I can't wait to see you in the next episode. Until then, get out there and make the world a little bit brighter in your own special way. See you next time.